Let me show you what happened with this driver. He did a panic stop somehow. And got very close to hitting the headache rack. So I'm waiting for my dad right now. I just got here. What we'll be doing is lifting up this entire thing, all 75 feet in the air. And rotating just a foot and a half backwards. That's all he needs. Airlines are all intact. Everything's good. And the reason we're using two trucks is simple. It's rebar. It's not like steel pipes or something like that. That's 100% solid. It's bendable. So if I use the truck with two lines like this and you just pick up, you're not going to be able to lift up the whole thing. If I lift from the middle, the end stay on the ground. If I just lift up from here, then that end stays. It'll make a lot more sense once we go airborne. So, I mean, he did a wonderful strap job. The, the thing's center on the bed, which is great. It's too far forward and he's got to readjust the wood. So let me start attaching my stuff first. And then by the time Dave, uh, Dave, by the time my dad gets here, we'll do his side. First, I would like to walk out the boom, make sure I'm in a favorable position. actually not bad at all maybe a bit more forward what I would like to do is put my boom head directly over these orange straps and then one line goes under this side and one just right there before it's tied off and then my dad will do the same I put tension and have the guy lift up. Okay, you can start taking off the straps on the front side. Right. Hey, did this happen in the parking lot? No, it happened on the freeway. And you were able to turn? Yeah. That's crazy. I know, I thought I was gonna be able to, but... It, it looks like even if you go a little bit, it's gonna hit the your head a crack. Hey, it didn't really, actually. Cause I, was, I didn't want to set the freeway cause I'm like, this is gonna take a long time. And my supervisor, he's like, you know what? It's like, just get out of the freeway. I do these all the time, man. These things usually go right through. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Because I saw when it dropped. Because that thing, when you when probably felt it and heard it too. Yeah. When, because when we checked it when we were at the yard, that thing was like holding solid. Then I was coming to six and five, it started feeling like shaking a lot. I'm like, yeah, it's not gonna hold. And then it just dropped. So I got tension there. Oh, 
once he uh, release pressure, I'll go in with that line more. Give myself a lot of gap there and, and readjust my straps. Quick and easy call. You know what the total weight is? 48. 48, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's heavy. Only uh, another reason why you use two trucks, especially because if you use one, your lines would be this far apart, which decreases your working load limit capacity. comfortable with that. Oh yeah, baby. Hello, dad. Fashionably late. <clears throat> so I'm just doing this to give myself more room here. I'm gonna put one strap under this part and one behind the wood. Here. Perfect. You only work in perfection? Is that why you had me? <laughs> 48,000 pounds. 48 total. We'll be seeing about 25 each. What do you guys think? From right here to this one, I'll rotate this way a little bit more. And then this one's gonna go right behind here. Yeah, that's a good spread. bit more clearance I think that's good I like that. Hey Josh, I'm gonna move further back. Knowing what I know now, because I was gonna come here and here, but I gotta get enough height to get his foot. I think I should get on either side of the wood. If 
we can drive the middle. I'm going to be perpendicular right here. Like, I don't know the boom out. Where are we going to go back? Three feet? Two feet? Or two feet? Not, not even two. You should see how uh, he barely needs a, a foot and a half. Two feet. Then I better be back here. Because I need to, so I'm going to put a strap here and one here. That way he can, he can work on the wood. Now that I got this part set up, I dropped this line. And I move it behind the wood. That'll give us both of us a nice spread. So he's got a lot more overhang in the uh, rear than in the front, which is why I don't have to be on this side of the wood. Gotta make sure it comes up even. Yeah, that's good. I don't want this to get caught up, which you know it will. Oh, maybe not. <clears throat> I'm all set up. You know the bin also right here? A baby spreader bar, a three footer over the wood. You got my strap? What do you got? Hold on, you know what I want, I want you to do? <clears throat> I'll fix it right now. Follow the right side. I don't like any of these straps for this job. I'll use two from Dave's truck. I don't like any of those straps for this. These new, these are the new Bailey's Platinum Slings. Oh baby, gorgeous. Ten footers, just like up in front. You want to go? I'll give it to you after. In front and behind the wood, right? Uh-huh. In front and behind the wood, got it. These are the new These are the new platinum slings. Give me red cable please. Okay, go up and we'll see how, how even it is. Oh, 
Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, check this out. I got the Bailey sleeve cut in half. Protect against that. One on each end. Take off the straps, please. It's hot. I got cold water. That has a good point. Like I was saying earlier, there's a lot more overhang right here. And he's gonna have to fix his wood. Mine, the front can stay up, it'll be easy. And once we lift up on each end, he can easily go forward two feet. And even if the middle's touching, it'll slide easily because there'll be a lot less pressure. Lift it, you're gonna release the change for the wood, so we can restock the wood. Yeah. How you doing, Josh? Great. Okay, sir, you're good in the front. You should be able to take off that chain first. Which is good. No, 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 let him take the chains off first. Right. Then we swing. Of course, stand back. Look how much I got it off in the, in the front. The front, it's completely airborne. Now do you see why I wanted you on the inside of the wood? To, to mimic me? No. no. I did the right thing. It's different for me because I can't let, I can't leave it hanging. Higher, dang. No, I was doing cables only. Now it's you're on high speed. We got the idle up. I don't have the high speed. So that wood fell? It all went forward. It happened on the freeway. It was like a panic stop or something. He said he felt it and then he was able to limp it here, turning and everything. Well, I like to go back on those two feet, which I think is way more than enough. Is that up? Going four across? Yeah, so four forward, one's gonna be 12, and then six and five.
I think he said we're good. We're good. You don't think that's too high? No? Well, maybe just the three on top and that's it. Well, I mean, I, I honestly don't know. It just seems like it would be. Yeah. That's probably why it fell, maybe. Oh, no, the middle. The middle was yeah. So, I see that. I mean, just buy one more, and that's it. I don't know. The wood doesn't seem all even. Look at this gap. Of course, when it comes down, it's gonna compress it, but. All right. See what we did there? And now the binder won't be affected. Take your time, though. Yeah, you wanna screw it a little bit? Or? Bro, can you squat while you're doing it? I'm just. Yeah. There you go, thanks, man. See how it's out of the way and you get the same result. Alright. More than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> this is a lot safer here. <clears throat> That's why he's still there watching, see what we do. CHP? Yeah. Oh, he followed you off? No, no. Actually, he, he, he's blundered over like a long time ago. He just <laughs> turned around to see. Well, he can watch our channel. <laughs> I'll give him a business card. You guys got a YouTube channel? Yeah. You got over 200 videos. You got like 160,000 followers. Look it up, bro. You're gonna come out in it, so. Am <laughs> <laughs> I making money of it? You're my October baby right now. How's it feel? Good, bro? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tight of the bit. Oh, I see it squeezing in now. Oh, that's perfect, brother, man. Yeah. yeah. You gotta send a shout out to me since it's like <laughs> in the week. That gap looks good now. Hey, do you want me to, so when you're done here, you want me to set it down and then focus on the back or you want the front still airborne? Yeah, so we'll, we'll go to the back and do the same. Yeah. That one's gonna stay that high, right? No, one lift. Up, one out. Good, good man. Yeah, I think both ends were too high. It was too unstable. Yeah, and then the top one looks like you Watch it. Yeah, that top one was doing them no favors. I came in from this way, look. Where that Tesla's at? No, you didn't. I couldn't, yeah. Who let you in? No one, I, could you imagine me you turning this little tiny street in Dave's truck? So how'd you get in? I had to loop back around. Oh. I didn't want to enter from there because it was residential. Wait till you get out. How's... I can't turn like you can. I don't have the floating axle like you. Go higher, Dad. Hold it. Can you extend out? Well, good, you, good, good. I, want under it. <clears throat> I just want to make sure that you you lift up at the exact angle it's at because you were bringing it to you. Does look pretty dangerous. Hey, look, the entire thing's airborne. Yeah, that's awesome. Look, this is exactly what I wanted. See how the entire thing's airborne? This is awesome. So from here, now he can go forward like two feet. This is why I did my spread. It could be less than two feet. You gotta figure, the more he goes back this way, the more overhang he has, and he already has a ton of it. Yeah. 
Looks like a snake, huh? So we're gonna go ahead and take off that top layer. Make it shorter, we think that's part of the issue. It was just too tall. The higher you go, the more unstable it is. So for you guys that transport these 65 feet, do you put anything in the middle? I mean, I could see arguments for both, logistically. I truly don't know. Okay, never mind. I was gonna, it doesn't matter which, because it's gonna really push on that binder. It don't matter. Right this way. I think it's, it's gonna lean that way. I yeah, I, I'll go back with it. Right, that's exactly like that. That's a lot better. Okay, okay let's come back. Dad, no, I'd, I'd rather him drive forward. Why? Because as we rotate, the angle is going to be off of it. Right now, it's perfectly straight. I don't like that one. I don't Fine, we'll rotate. Let me get my remote. What do I know? I'm only a doctor. We're only going a couple feet anyways, if that, so... Yeah. Hold it, hold let it. us know up there. All right. Tell me when. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Oh, my control's off. I already did it. I did it for you. Let me, uh, let me drop the front. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm already doing it. No, man, you don't want to rest it on the wood. You can't, you can't touch the wood. Are you good right there? Hold on, is it centered? Hey, is it centered? Are you good? Drop here is that because I, I still got tension. I'm going by the binder. Oh yeah, mine's perfect. Okay, I let out a lot of tension. I think the front? Let's check the front. I think it's gonna come this way a little bit. I don't think so. No, Dad, because it's still compressed. It, it looks like a 55 45 or 60 40. It looks like 51 49 to me. So you're good? Yeah, that's good. All right, let's go. Hold on. What's up, Eddie? Thank you, guys. Yeah, with the right equipment, it's always easy. Yeah, I know. I feel bad for the binder. I've never seen it, but it looks good. Like so now what I'm going to do is move up. That front strap closer so I can get rid of the other one. What other one, sir? You'll see. The strap? Yeah. You because I... Put a piece of damage in the middle? No, 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 no. Yeah? Okay. a good man right here. He's going to come out of the video. Oh, yeah. Pick up the other one, too, Josh. You're going to need symmetry. Pick up this one, too. There you go, son. There you go. Good. Oh, you're awesome, dude. Go down, son. I had work. You felt that way, huh? We both did. That's funny that my dad's in his rotator. I'm in Dave's. Dave's is a 40 ton and Hulk is a 50 and Flipper's a 75 and my dad's a 60. All in all, a very fun job. I'm going to derig my father first and then we're out of here.
You see why I requested the second truck? Because you want to see me. I'm off at five, huh? Is that when you got to go back to the retirement home? Both of these are your shackles. The shafts are Dave's. Thank you, Joshua. Look at that. We're perfect with the, with the hood. The cable. Thank you. No, thank you. Freaking love these straps, man. And the final piece of rigging comes off now. All right, guys going to put the truck away and then we're out of here. Yeah, I'll be All right, man. How far are you going? Vegas. Woo! That's fun. Oh, yeah. Well, after you, you've been there for almost 60 years, it's not that fun anymore. All right, man. Here you go. I can give me like two tweets. Of course. So that way I can give my two, one to each of my bosses. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. If you feel inclined, that if you scan that with your barcode, I'm with your phone, it takes you straight to my uh, Google list and you leave a review. Oh yeah, I'll be glad to do that. Thank you. Man. No problem, man. Drive safe. I love these things, man. Normally, tow truck people are associated in the negative. Because you never call a tow truck because you're bored and want to have a good time, right? It's always at your worst moments, most inconvenient times. So I'm gonna change that. You, know, you always provide good service. You be as friendly as you can and understanding and patient. And then bam, here you go, sir. Leave a five star rating if you feel so inclined. <laughs> the truck looks like a taxi, huh? Like a Tesla. Uh, that was fun, guys. We're out of here. Peace.